we have this sense of urgency because there's so many patients that are at the end of the road with no treatment options. A day delay in getting the product to the market could mean people's lives. Clinical operations comes in when a molecule is approved for early development. Clinical operations then takes that molecule and begins to test it in patients. We make sure that that data is clean and proper, that the investigators are trained, that the sites know what they need to collect and how they need to collect it and how they need to follow patients and that all the patients are followed in the same manner. If we don't do that, what's at stake are the ability for patients to actually receive benefit from the new science. People are very different from each other and they may react to the drug differently. So you really want to study what's the effect of the drug in a variety of different people. Because once we put the drug out into the market in the hands of a physician, they're gonna give it to a patient and it's gonna be in the real world. Because we are running studies all over the world, things change all the time and sometimes on a daily or weekly basis. You wanna keep everything on a timeline and budget. The disease itself is constantly changing. You have to keep up with that. Any of those things would affect how we are running a trial in that particular country and changes the logistics and how we would do the oversight. As you learn about the molecule, you may have to adjust your protocol, which means you may add a new dose. You may add another arm in a trial. You have to get FDA approval of that change. The challenge is to keep the protocol moving while innovating. It's like flying the plane while you're building it. When it gets into clinical trials, yeah, it's, it's out of the labs, but there's still so much we don't know about the drug. And that's why it's really important for us to run these large scale, multi-center, multi-country trials so that we can understand the drug much better and so it's safe and efficacious when it hits the market. I used to look at it just as a lot of metrics, numbers, CT scans, but now it certainly has a more personal touch to it. When I see data, I think that's someone's mom or dad or, or sister or friend. In many ways, data is the new gold. It actually represents insights into how patients and physicians might use our drugs, how they might react to it. But ultimately, this is the last test. And it's so exciting to see a drug move through this last test and make it into the hands of patients.